kicking around with some redstone, and I found something quite interesting with a new 1.5.2 update. I don't know if this has been in previously previous versions, but I've just recently found it, so I'm going to show you how to build it and one of its uses. So, where do we start? Well, we start here. How this works is, if we place a line of redstone, we can just do like this. And now keep in mind, this is based on a very strange bug and is likely to get patched in the future. Now if you just do this like I do. Now as you see, we press this button, that extends, and there it tracks. We press this button, it extends, and there it tracks. Oddly enough, if we place a redstone block here, press this button, it stays extended. If we press this button, it retracts. And now we can place it again. It's not... I can show you, it's not like a T-flip-flop. And this could be used for a very, very resource light and simple RS nor latch. Now, not counting that redstone block, because obviously you can just put a torch under it. But it's very compact, uh, very strange how it works as well. Not honestly too sure. I think something to do with the bud principle. But another way you could set this up is like this. I'm just pointing this design out for anybody who has... For anybody who has a reason to need this design, you can also make it like this. Just note that the first button has to be one block away, like this. It is completely signal strength dependent, and that's how this entire design works. Now, as you see again, without that block there, it doesn't work. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I hope you use this mechanic in one of your builds, because it is very strange, but it's pretty cool, honestly. Um, so yeah, this has been Joel Zepper, signing out. Later, guys.